Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a web page template component. So what do we mean by a web page template component? You can see on this website we have a nice looking carousel slideshow just here. But this was actually hard coded. Now we want to make this slideshow a component whereby users using the Power Pages Studio can easily modify certain properties of this component so how do we do that we go to the power pages design studio then we are going to start by creating a template file in the portal management application so once we are in the portal management we go to the content section and we click web templates then we select new and let's say we give it a name image slider we allocate this to our website i think it's mandela we have just one website so yeah then i save and close we are going to come back later to edit the code now let's go back to our power pages designer studio and select edit to modify our website okay in our designer studio we're going to notice that we have um, our slideshow here and there was nothing actually one can do so imagine a student developer wanting to do certain modification on your slideshow and he cannot do that it becomes a little frustrating so we are going to quickly update that by going into visual studio code for the web in our visual studio for the web we identify the code that we added for our slideshow so here it is so we are going to remove all of this code from here then we are going to look for the web template we created that was image slideshow here we go image slider and then we are going to paste our code here now in order to turn this template into a component we are going to add some liquid code so i already have my code let me just copy and i will explain it to you so okay here we go so to turn a template into a component all you need to do is to add this manifest section code so i have my manifest this is where it starts and then this is where it ends now within the manifest it accepts parameters and we have a property type now the property type can be functional or layout when we say functional that means that in the designer studio we want to enable the users to be able to add the component as if they were adding sections that means if it's functional where you say add section we'll be able to find our component but if we take it as layout where you want to add other components that is for example text or images that is when we click here we should be able to find the component here so it depends on where you want your users to be able to add the component now back in the visual studio for us is functional then you can add a display name here i have my display name of image slider then you can provide a description now the other important part here is the parameters in the parameters you are going to define your array of properties that you want the user to modify in this case we have the interval and we have an indicator so we would love our user to modify the speed of the image slideshow and also to determine if they want to see these indicators or not okay now that we have defined those in our manifest section we need to add those parameters within our code now for carousel what we need to modify here is the data interval attribute so here we have 4000 we are going to add this property that is the interval so i can just copy the interval here paste it in properties yeah then you need to make sure that your interval is in curly braces actually double curly braces while using the liquid language so i add that there the next is the indicator now i would love this piece of code should be added only if the user decides to have indicators on the side or not so for us to do that we have another piece of code to add so i will just come here Open my curly braces. 
say if then take the property value which is indicator so i paste don't forget always put it in double curly braces so let's say if indicator double equals to yes if it's yes then run this piece of code else do not run that means stop so i will end my if here and if let me just put some space make it a little bit clean okay that's it i think we are done all we need to do now is to save now all we need to do is to go back to our one page and include our web templates so to do that we always have our curly braces percentage upon include then the name of the template which is image slider don't forget to close with your percentage so let's save okay great so we go back to our designer and we synchronize so once the synchronization is complete we are going to see that we'll be able to modify certain parameters of our slideshow okay great so we are going to come to components you see we can click and now you have edit custom component so we click there you have the possibility of providing the interval just as we mentioned so let's say we take an interval of maybe 10 the speed be fast then it will ask you do you want to indicate us yes or no let's say for now no because on our website we already have indicators so let's take that away and click done then let's test this it's going to refresh our website and here we go you can see how fast the slideshow has become and we do no longer have those indicators amazing so now our citizen developers can easily modify a slideshow we can push it ahead by giving them the possibility of uploading their images through this component modifying maybe the the animation of the slideshow and other lots of things so it's really amazing okay thank you guys that's it for today see you in our next tutorial